guys i welcome you to my channel let graphics and multimedia my name is rocky yako and this channel content has to do with color draw adobe illustrator and photoshop if you visit my channel all you have to do is to make sure you click on videos and when you click on video you'll be able to see my present and past tutorial in color draw photoshop and adobe illustrator so all you have to do is to scroll down and see my tutorial all these tutorials we made for basic to advance in Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. All you have to do is to watch the video, learn one or two things, and if you have any question as far as my tutorial is concerned, put your question in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you please. So let's get the tutorial started. guys i welcome you back to my tutorial this is my correct excel tutorial class 9 of the 9 as far as tutorial is concerned if you have not watched my previous tutorial i call it excel tool for beginner all you have to do is to visit my channel when you visit the channel remember to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos for and all the illustrator and go to function both beginner and as an intermediate all the video has been made basically all you have to do is to watch the video Learn one of the things. Thank you. So let's get to the tutorial. So, what we are going to talk about today is how we will make use of Pathfinder in our second tutorial. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will come to my test back here and I will click on my rectangle here. So, when I select my rectangle, I'll come to the correct work area and I'll press the two key on my keyboard and draw the perfect rectangle. And I'll press P to set the light. So then I'll go back to my toolbar again and select edges or circle. Then when you look at the shape property here, you see that we have different form of circle. So then I'm going to make so the first one here. Draw my perfect circle like this. Then I'll press B also to centralize. Press shift key and click on the second, second shape, uh, shape so and drag everything. And this now to make use of our pathfinder and the product, form, you have to make sure that you click on the two shape at the same time. But the what thing you need to map up in mind is that you need to click on the first shape, then you press that shift key on the keyboard and click on the second shape. So, having done that, some of action will appear on color from it. These are the things we need to talk about as far as my finder tutorial is concerned for the Excel. So I will select the two now. I will start from combine. When you click on combine, when you press Ctrl L on your keyboard, you're going to have the combine function. This combine simply means that when you click on the when you select combine, it's going to match the shape together. That's the meaning of the combine. Then if you apply color, it's going to fill the color. But the center point of the shape is going to remain empty. So what I'm trying to point out here is that let me quickly make a background to complete the rectangle here to make a page for that. Then I'll apply the black color. So you can see here that we have an empty space in the center of the shape. That's the meaning of combine here. Uh, combine of the shape in color or something to do with this. I'm going to it. So let's look at another shape. I will click on my rectangle shape now. And I will make the perfect rectangle again. Then I can press Ctrl D to make it replicate with this. And I will make it like this. Alright. So what one other thing I will do is I will press Shift E again and click on this. Now we have our Pathfinder option. And then over again. So now the next one here is what we call red. If you click on the red, it's going to combine the two shapes together and make it one. Yes, you can see now that everything becomes one. When you fill the color, you're going to have a sample, a rectangle shape. Okay, you're going to press on the Z to complete everything. Now, come back to our shape. Then I'll press Shift key on my keyboard and click on the second shape. Let's take a look at the next option as far as our 
Pathfinder is concerned. So in this time around, I'm going to need some intercept. When you click on this asset, what is going to happen there is that you need to have the main shape cut out from the original shape. That is it. So clicking on the intercept. When I click on intercept, it will happen like this. You still maintain your original shape. The original shape will continue. Then here we go. This is the meaning of intercept. The correct for Pathfinder as far as correct for Pathfinder is concerned. So now let's quickly go back to Shape and try to use for that thing. So when you press Shift E again and select the second shape, so we're still going to have our Pathfinder option here. So the next one here is what we call so the next option here is what we call simplify. So when you select your simplify, something like this will combine like two shapes together and form a single angle. So now if I'm clicking my simplify here, so you can see what I have as a result. This is going to be the one shape here, while this one is going to be another shape, something like this. So like this. So that is the meaning of the simplify. So I can take it away and delete this. Now I'll go back to my toolbar again. Let's say let's set it down. And I'll press control D to follow my perfect circle. I'll press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Now I'll press Shift E, second shift. Now we have our Pathfinder helper. So we are talking about simplify. Then the next one here is go to top. Minus from front minus back. Okay, so when you select front minus back, you want to have something like this. You can see this is all. Uh, so we make a page border here, then we apply black color here, then we apply white color to this. So we're going to have something like this. That's it. So let me quickly delete it. Minus back, so this time around we need to have back minus front. That is, we want to subtract from the back in the front. So you know, have something like opposite of what we have when we make use of what subtract from the front. So this is exactly what you need to get. Okay, so let's get it. So if we go back to our shape tools again. Okay, then we get the duplicates. We shift it and get on the second shape. So now we have the last one here is what we call the last one here is what we call create boundary as far as this correct tutorial is concerned. So when we come create front, this is going to work just like when you are trying to combine two shapes together to form the single work at the end. So we still have the shape left out, so then we can make a delete and have something like this. Okay, so let's delete everything. What you have to do is to work out and see how all this interactive uh, uh, combined shape and uh, some other function of Pathfinder works in correct Excel tutorial. So if you enjoy this video, please remember to visit my channel for more interesting video in Corel Pro, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator. So we have all the videos for the beginning and advanced and intermediary in on this channel. All you have to do is to click and watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe when you visit the channel. Thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end. See you soon.